you today. I am going to be doing a tag video. Be fabulous with me. Irene tagged me and I am so excited to do this video. It is called Luxury Items I Regret Buying Tag. And um, if I can think of any, those, I have two items that I have. I do love those items still, but I'm going to tell you why. Kind of like Irene's video on why she feels uh, that she regrets buying hers. It's kind of like the same thing because believe me, I thought about selling these items or one of them mainly and then I wanted to see how much the other one was on resale value and it wasn't a lot. So anyways, before we go, I do want to let you all know that Irene has a channel and it is, uh, she does items on luxury goods and she does do vlogs with her family. She also does fashion and workout routines. So you guys need to check her out. She has an amazing channel and she is just a wonderful person. I just can't say enough about it. Um, I so enjoy her channel. So I'm going to link hers down below, her tag videos, so you can check that out and then go from there and check the rest of the video out. And also, if you guys have not subscribed to me, please do so. I do videos on luxury goods and I don't vlog. I have not vlogged, but I thought about doing that. I did buy a Canon G7, I, I, you know, like months ago and I still haven't used it. I just haven't had time to figure out how to work it. So um, I need to start, I, I would say like four months ago and I still haven't used the camera and I need to get going with it. So anyways, let me go ahead and talk about the two items that I purchased that I kind of regret buying and it's more so because of the resale value on this bag. It's not because I don't like it, you guys, but it's more because of the resale value. I feel like these two bags, if I can think of any, these two bags would be the ones that um, I would never get my money back on it. Okay, it is this gorgeous, and I've talked about this bag on my video before, on one of the videos, and I love this bag, don't get me wrong. I think it's gorgeous. It is a Miu Miu bag. And look at that. I mean, it's pretty. It is a beautiful white bag. It stands out. The leather on this bag, the craftsmanship is just way and over beyond. I can't ask for a bag uh, that's uh, better well made than this one. I think this bag is just beautiful. No flaws whatsoever. The gold hardware on this bag is just stunning on top of the white. I don't think that my lighting's doing it any justice. The opening of this bag is just amazing. It's got one zip pocket here and it's got another in front of it here that's leather and then two pockets here where you can hold your cell phones. I'm propping it out so you can kind of see it and the opening is just stunning. And as you can see here, it's got a nice strap. I usually carry it like this. Um, I'm little enough where I can also do this. And then of course it comes with the crossbody. You guys, this is an amazing bag, but I don't use it that much. So I, when I thought about selling it, because of course you want to get new bags and there's bags that you know that you're going to use more often. This bag was not cheap. You guys, it was, I want to say it was close to, I think it was eight, it was 1800 this bag here and it was not on sale when I purchased it and um, it doesn't scream out anything okay and that's I don't always want bags that scream out hey I'm Louis Vuitton or hey I'm Chanel but I feel like this bag doesn't scream out anything at all and then it, I, I don't know I've taken really good care of it I've sprayed Apple Guard on it and I have no no color transfers but you guys when I wear white, any type of white, even though if it's a Louis Vuitton bag or whatever, I don't wear clothes that'll transfer onto my bag. Just like this bag here, I really, really try to be careful. As you guys know, this is my newest addition. But um, this bag here, I, I, I love it. But when I looked it up on the resale market, first of all, I don't even see the bag, okay? So how is anybody gonna want this bag. I mean, how do I even know what to price it? 
But after looking at this bag, you guys, I, I definitely don't want to sell it because first of all, I know I would not even get half the amount for this bag, okay? And it's it's so pretty. This is such a gorgeous bag. I mean, it is it is a stunning bag. I love it. So this is one of my first bags uh, that I thought of uh, that I regret because of the resale value in this bag. So my Miyu Miyu here, you guys. Something like this, I might as well keep it and I'm gonna try to enjoy it the best that I can because of the resale value. So anyways, my next bag. This bag, you guys, oh my goodness, when I first got it, I was so head over heels over this bag. It was, I was so excited, I was so proud of it. And talk about, I get the most, com I've gotten the most compliments on this bag than I ever have ever in any of my bags when I think about it. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, even when I still wear this bag, this would be the bag that I get the most compliments on. Um, but I used it, I loved it. I don't use it as much now. It's because I have other newer ones, but now that I've pulled it out, I definitely want to go ahead and use it. It is my Prada Safiano bag. I mean, look how gorgeous this bag is, you guys. Talk about pink and talk about how beautiful this thing is. Look at this. It goes right over my shoulders. The guy says it's not supposed to be a shoulder bag. I get it, but that's how I use it. Mine comes with the strap. I know some of them do not come with the strap and I use it. It's kind of long. I really need to put more holes in it. This on my video, I'm, I said to myself, well, it's kind of, I've had it for a long time. I'm not going to put holes in it, but I think I will. I, I see this in the store still, so I thought I'll probably get a lot of money for it. Not that I wanted to sell it because it's such a beautiful bag and I get compliments on it every time and it's nice and big and um, it's been very, very, very useful to me and it's it just stands out and I'm telling you, all different ages have come up to me. I can't brag about this bag enough. I think the color is fun. If it was black or navy blue, I don't think I would love it as much because the color is what drew me to this bag. So anyways, as you guys know, this bag is not cheap. It's not cheap. And I think I got it at, I know I got it at Saks and they were having like a 20% off sale way back then when they used to have it on Prada. They do not have sales on Prada unless it gets marked down. This was not a marked down bag and um, it was still over still over 2000 something if i can remember correctly i don't i don't see the price in this bag i don't know what i did with it it's probably in my room somewhere so anyways so it's probably in there my receipt but this bag here if i ever were to resell it i would get nothing off of it you guys i've looked on the resale market and i've noticed that there's some bags that are selling for five, uh, 600, 700, 800. Uh, there's one person trying to sell it for 15, but I think hers is like a newer. Mine does have a little bit of corner wear. And um, I feel that this bag is still, no matter what, worth um, 1,500 if I wanted to sell it on the, res uh, on the resale market. But um, there are so many other bags like this and you really don't know what kind of shape you're getting so why would they buy my bag over a bag that's 800 because you can't really tell so um this one here is going to be one of my bags that i will be keeping for a a while and um, i just thought i'd bring this up because i was tagged and i had to think about two bags that i kind of regret well i regret Kind of buying this only because of I, I I would never be able to get my money back for it if I sold it. This one I love it I love it but if I got tired of it eventually I would not get my money back on this. I can't say I would never buy another Prada bag. I can't say that because I do love Prada, you guys. I love it. I think they're beautiful. I think. A lot of their bags are stunning. 
So am I going to buy any, um, as of now, any bags? No, I don't have any in my mind that I want to buy. I would buy their wallets and um, their card holders right now. But um, these two bags are the only ones that I can think of. So anyways, thank you, Irene, for tagging me on this video. And um, you guys have a wonderful day. And God bless you.